Uh, where's the blue body? Where's the picture of the blue body? Blue body! Coming for you. hey -o. What's up, everybody? The red light is on and we are there, be the dragons, and welcome- that you discovered the body of Charlie Clark Dad. in the vicinity Back of the Back to rude interrupty unit. guy! Wounds <laughs> on the American crew member's body implied that he was struck with a force felony. intense enough to cause substantial like damage to the guy. helmet and fracture the skull. No, no, no. Uh, so we've turned on Upon evidence glow because unit, we're you highly there incapable. There were no noticeable well, signs of damage okay. or failure upon it. Its uh -huh. screen indicated that it had full signal. Ah. You then checked the unit's receiver. Of course I did. I, I, Ooh, yeah, obviously. Where's the unit? Where's the unit's receiver? That one. That one? This Ooh. one. No. Well, it's green. Where's the unit's receiver? Oh, this receiver. Oh. Ah. Look, it's so glowy. You discovered that the communications unit receiver was unhooked from the unit itself. How does someone it use a phone in space? Playing its last oh, transmission on loop. The recording goes And that as was follows. the best summer of my life. Yeah. Now, they're not screaming. Mission. Because in space, no one can hear you scream. Hello, aliens. The chance of critical hardware failure is at zero point zero five percent. Where's my tab? I am sorry. The connection seems to be failing. Abort mission. I nope. Am Going through a tunnel. Return to Earth. <laughs> you will then <laughs> to Mel like in his Mel. central processing chamber the at the front okay. of the ship. I know how to do that. The record states that you discovered the body of Charlie Clark in the vicinity of the communications unit. Uh huh. Wounds on the American crew member's body implied that he was struck with a force intense enough to cause substantial damage to the helmet and fracture oh, yeah. the skull. Yep. Okay. Get back inside. Can I get in here? This is open. Ha ha! Ah! Ha ha! Dicks. It's not open. There's a white thing. God, you can't just go around calling things white. <laughs> Where's the white thing? Oh, Lord of the Rings. Oh no, it's just a light. Don't worry. It's not. All right. I think when we first came out, there was an astronaut. Ah! There's a tether. We can get in here. <laughs> Ow! Ow! I, you Gone. did it. What's that a glowy thing in the screen? What glowy? Uh, back up. Oh, we took that a picture thing. of that. Did we? Um, yeah. Hit. Oh, yeah, that was the first thing that you tried to boop. I didn't. Break more. I didn't. I never know. No, that no. was not a thing that happened. There's no evidence to the contrary. All None. right. Mal, where? That's not you. Okay. Um, How can you tell? Well, because That's he's a giant. Eyeball. Yeah, he's a giant eyeball. Eh, he wasn't there. He wasn't. Where'd he go? Mal. And I am very glad that you're driving. Ooh, we haven't been in this part yet. Ha! Is there evidence? Stuffs? Ha! Aww. Aww. This is like us on holidays. Pictures of everything, oh, including yeah. rings. Ah, ah the ring. You want to tell him about Val Valentine's Day since we've got a minute here, apparently? Yes. There he is! I found him. You've got time. No, I don't. Uh, so, as everyone who saw the holiday thing I was given clip no that you choice. put together... Lots of people saw it. They did, and people commented, um, it was an amazing yeah. holiday, and we got engaged. We sure did. <laughs> Still weird when she, yeah. Also, I know, it's a switch to that whole fiancé thing. That's why people say partner! It's, uh, no, it's, it's, I kind of want to do what my friend Craig did. I remember one day he came back to Maryland after maybe, like, being away for a month and a half or so. And I was like, ah, oh, that's great. How's things with Mandy? He goes, oh, yeah, Mandy's not my girlfriend anymore. I'm like, oh, man, why didn't you tell me? And, yeah, he, he got engaged. But apparently he just relishes in torturing her. And <laughs> refusing not my to girlfriend call anymore. Her. <laughs> They've got three kids and two presented new your chosen and evidence. Oh, Nuffies. For Mal's statement. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, chosen evidence balls. Ooh. Yeah. Let's go here. You asked Mal to make a statement on the communications unit. Statement, Hal. Mal. The communications Damn it. unit cut out mid transmission. It must have been caused by a critical hardware failure. Critical hardware failures are exceedingly common. You understood Mal to be a competent liar. However, when challenged with indisputable evidence, his otherwise intricate programming would revert okay. to telling the absolute truth. 
resulting in an irrefutable confession. Okay. Okay, so we basically the have to... transmission heard in the communications unit's receiver as evidence against Mal's statement. Ah! You asked Mal to make a statement on the communications unit's receiver, fully functioning, looping the final transmission yeah, okay, so between himself and... Mal Mal's said it must have been broken, but we just took a picture of it working, which... Ah! ...cut out mid-transmission. It must have difficulty receiving signal uh -huh. this far out into space. Okay, so I'm going to right-click to, to con be a competent contradict. Liar. However, when challenged yeah, I... with indisputable evidence, what the... am I drinking coffee? Intricate that... program. Well, I am. Yeah. I'm drinking but coffee. Telling the <laughs> Go back. Truth, Let me contradict him. Resulting it. in an irrefutable eh. confession. You presented the communications eh. as evidence against Mel's statement. I'm just, I'm just drinking coffee. Ah, uh, do you have to point it? Uh... Hey. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so you presented it as evidence. You pointed out that the communications unit was displaying full signal, ah, here we despite go. being much further from Earth than when the final transmission initially cut out. Yep. This is true. I blocked his number. I was not enjoying the <gasps> conversation. Matt. Well, that's fair. With the confession from Mal that he deliberately and incredibly rudely ceased our correspondence, you proceeded with the investigation, asking for statements and contradicting those statements with the relevant evidence. Okay, so we need the next statement from him so that we can refute it. All right, so let's. You showed Mal the body of Rakesh Watcher hanging by the neck out of the airlock, which is normal. After I had informed Watcher and Asimov that Kisov had sabotaged the mission by killing Charlie Clark. Rakesh Watcher instigated physical combat with Valeria Asimov. She was able to defend herself against him due to the weakness in the neck region of the suit. Okay, so you're going to have to forgive us a little bit because the subtitles are so small. Okay. Killing Charlie. What's it say? Okay, so it says that... Is it Rakesh Watcher instigated physical combat with Valeria? Uh huh. Asimov. Yep. Yep. She was able to defend herself against him due to a weak. She was unable. Who was this able? To yep. Defend herself against the attack due to a weakness in the neck region of the suit. Okay. Right on. Wait, isn't this Asimov? You presented the cadaver of Valeria Asimov for Mal's statement. This is Valeria Asimov. After her ironic use of airlock safety features, she retreated to the bar. She died of alcohol poisoning. All right. Okay, so apparently she died of... Okay, so the alcohol poisoning. So we've got to somehow find... You requested a statement from Mal by presenting him with the cadaver of Charlie Clark. So we had to find some way that she died other than alcohol murder. poisoning. Oh wait, what about the blue body? How'd the blue body die? Uh. Performing extra vehicular activity, Dmitry Kisov struck him in the head with a maintenance tool until he stopped being alive. Until he stopped being alive. Uh, where's the blue body? Where's the picture of the blue body? Blue body, coming for you. Hey oh. You asked Mal to make a statement about the death of Sun Tzu Chun. The failure of Sun Tzu Chun's cryobag that resulted in her death must have been caused by a compromised power turbine. Compromised power turbine. Where is... Is this a power turbine? This looks like a power turbine. Huh! You presented the power turbine to Mal. Yeah! It ain't compromised. Is a fire hazard. With compromised coolant, all power is cut and the resulting fire is vented. The damage was not severe enough to cause a fire. Alright, I'm going to right click you, Hal. I, I'm not. I was just kidding, Hal. Ah. You asserted that if the power turbine remained ah, uncompromised, go. then this could not have caused yeah. the death of Sun Tzu Chi. I right clicked you. I turned off her cryo bed. She was still alive. Okay, so he's a murderer. Can we go home? Because he's going to kill us next. Having received a partial confession from Mal, you proceeded with your investigation. I did. I sure... He definitely just confessed. What's yeah, this? that was... 
<laughs> you requested that Mal outline the protocol concerning the ventilation okay, door. This is important. Oh god. This door That's will right, you can see. The door will be open. If there is a fire in the turbine's fire system, it can also be opened via the By the lever, door. but the lever wasn't pulled. I am also oh. capable of Okay, so we just need to find a lever. Lever, 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 lever. Lever. Eh. You asked Mal about the purpose of this lever. This is the lever that is used to manually open the ventilation door. But how? Eh, eh, eh. Yeah. You inferred that the manual emergency lever could not have been the cause of the ventilation door's activation, as, evidently, it was never used. This is indeed correct. The ventilation door was not opened manually. Oh. Well... Then? Then how was it opened? You submitted the severed safety tether. For safety purposes, safety tethers are imperative in the engineering bay. This would have been attached to the in. As you cleverly pointed out, it no longer okay. is. Sorry, this is Ryan is ten people. Um <laughs> presented Mal with Valeria Asimov's so I have issues with my distance a statement. vision. So yeah, sure, yeah distance long sided when Rakesh yeah, short sighted and long sided. Yeah. yeah. However, yeah. So you're near sighted, which means you can see things up close. Yeah, that's the one. However, her suit easily. Okay. Uh, well, then we'll ask for a statement on this. You asked Mal about the manual airlock lever being activated. This lever was pulled during the conflict between Valeria Asimov and Rakesh Watcher, in which she wrapped a safety tether around his neck, uh -huh. then opened the airlock using the lever, thus breaking his neck. Okay, well, it wasn't open. I'm going to break clicky on that, Hal. But that says the sleeve was pulled. Oh, that lever was pulled. So it was the other one that wasn't pulled. The other one wasn't pulled. In response, you presented the body of Rakesh Watcher. Did I? After I had informed uh, sure. Watcher and Asimov that Kisov had sabotaged the mission by killing Charlie Clark, Rakesh Watcher instigated physical combat with Valeria Asimov. She was able to defend herself against him. Okay, yeah, so we saw that before. In the neck okay, so I think we need to fill in the rest of these By screens. Point, you concluded that Mal was not deceiving you concerning the incident between Mr. Watcher and Valeria Asimov. She strangled him using the safety tether combined with the force of the airlock after he attacked her based on Mal's information about the death of Charlie Clark. What? No, we didn't say that. Oh, we totally said that. You don't remember saying that? No, that I do not. Like that sounds exactly like something we said. It certainly does not. All right, well, I guess we... Gonna... Let's take more photos. Yeah, we gotta go find some more stuff to fart on. Okay, so what Photo. statements of hers are we looking at at the moment? Uh, so we've, we've asked for statements on everything. We've contradicted what we could. Mm -hmm. At this point, we know that this person was killed by the green person at the bar. Yeah. Because she pulled the airlock lever here. Which has been pulled. Yeah. And this is her suit, which was hit but not hard enough to kill, which is why she lived. Mm hmm So she took it off, and then she went to the bar where she apparently died, died of alcohol, alcohol poisoning. poisoning. But the blue person in the room with her is also dead in the cryo chamber because Hal basically said that he done did that. For a fire, even though there was no fire. Even though there was no fire. Yeah. No fire. Um... So do we need to prove she w didn't die because of the alcohol poisoning? Yeah, I think that's our, our next step. But what we're going to do first is stop. End the episode. Yeah, that's the one. We're going to stop, stop, collaborate, li listen. <gasps> Clue! Clue! What's that? You discovered a puzzling pinkish-purplish puddle on the floor inside the wheelhouse, <laughs> several metric paces from the bar. It wasn't promptly apparent as to how it reached this position, but the centrifugal gravity seemed to be holding it in place. All right, great clue. Great clue, everybody. Great well, clue. Well, that's okay. He described it exactly how I well, would so... Oh, my God, there are so many clues. Clue. 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 In the centrifugal wheelhouse, you found a startlingly unbeautiful fish tank housing plastic sea life. 
Despite the tank being placed seemingly parallel to the floor, its water was resting obliquely. You note that this is caused by the Coriolis effect, a side effect of the centrifuge's spin. Oh! Oh, Mal, you're in so much trouble. Why? You killed the fish. Because <gasps> I had to go into a centrifugal spin thing. And only the computer could do that, right? Yeah, I don't know. Sure. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the warehouse of the ship is where you found the body of Valeria Asimov. She was face down against the bar. No, no, the glass. With a glass in her hand. She bore no sign of physical injury. It's a clue, fudge monkey. Oh, fudge monkey, you yes. say. Yes. All right, we do need to end the episode. We will be back. Um, the odds are we probably will try to finish this game. I say about 50 minutes, so about 47 episodes out of next. Um, you know what he's talking about. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.